Anyone who loves to read knows the excitement of getting a recommendation for a great new book. Am I right? And lucky for me and you, I have two people with some excellent book suggestions. Librarians Misha Stone and Genesee Rickle from the Seattle Public Library joining me now. Hi. I am always so grateful to you because you have kept my reading list alive since the last three years I've known you. <laughs> and so I'm grateful. And Genesee, it is a pleasure to meet oh, you. Oh, thank you so much for having me here today. I am, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready because you always <laughs> bring me good ones. Okay, what do we got? So the three books I'm talking about, these authors are going to be at the Central Library next month. Okay. And the first is The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store by James McBride. <gasps> Poet Dan Anna Smith in their review for New York Times said this is a murder, mass, murder mystery wrapped in a great American novel, and it absolutely is. And while the murder mystery unfolds slowly, the two main characters that are like the heart of this book are Chona, a disabled Jewish woman who works at the grocery store and serves her black and European immigrant communities with so much love, and then Dodo, who is the deaf black child that Chona and her husband take in when the authorities are after him. Oh. This is an utterly immersive, character-rich novel that feels like an instant classic. Oh, I love that. An instant classic. Yes. Oh my goodness. There's even, I'm looking through here, there's Yiddish in here. This is so, yeah. oh, what a great book. I cannot wait to, okay. If you got a book club, maybe this is the, the, the fall one. He'll be here September 12th. September 12th at the Seattle Public Library. Yeah. Okay. All right, what's next? And then the next day, actually, is an event we have with Clarion West and the Consulate of Mexico here in Seattle. This is The Vampires of El Norte by Isabel Cañas. It is a historical romance that is <gasps> also a suspenseful supernatural western. Oh! I know, with star-crossed lovers and, yes, vampires. <laughs> and we meet Nana and Nestor, who are childhood friends who go out one night on an adventure, but Nana is attacked by a supernatural creature. They don't know what it is, and Nestor is told that she has died. He runs away. Nine years later, he comes back to help defend her family's land from U.S. invasion, um, and he learns that he was wrong. Nana is still alive, and she doesn't understand why he's been away for so long. This is, if you love a slow burn romance okay. with a little paranormal peril yeah. and enjoy... <laughs> stories of rebellion against colonial land grabs this yeah. is for you you picked this for me didn't you i did i, did. <laughs> I did love it <gasps> i cannot wait to read this uh, the, the, the even the cover is just so beautiful oh my gosh I, okay yes this is my first one yeah. what do we have here and then 101 horror books to read before you're murdered by Sadie <laughs> hartman i know so this is also a washington author and horror is having a big moment right now yeah. we're heading into spooky season um but there's just so many more writers of color and queer writers who are really changing the landscape of the genre and Sadie hartman who is known as Mother Horror Online is really mm -hmm. a big part of that. Um, this is 101 books. It's a beautiful book um, as well. It gives you great sense of different authors to oh, try. Oh, that's a great and, book. Uh, Sadie herself says she's a scaredy cat. Um, <laughs> Thank you, because I, I am too. Yeah, but she really gives you a great sense of what is happening in the horror genre today. Recent okay. authors through sort of like author spotlights and reviews that don't reveal too much, but tell you about the reading experience that you're in for. And it gives you just a great sense of the diverse voices that are in this genre that are making it so exciting and, dare I say, fun. That, and that is why this is such a great book that you have at the library, too, to yes. share. Oh, my gosh. I love all of these books. All right. Yeah. What do you got? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to share my picks with you today. So the first one I selected is The Dawn Hounds by Sasha Stronach. So this is a gritty biopunk, immersive fantasy novel. Oh, I love a fantasy. Right? It's the first in the series, um, but don't worry, there's no cliffhanger. Okay. So you can you can absolutely consume it all in one big gulp, and you're going to want to. So Yat is the main character, and she is a street kid who's turned into a constable as an adult. And over the course of the novel, she learns a few things. She learns that, unfortunately, police in her world can't always guarantee safety. Yeah. She learns that pirates are super hot. Ah. Uh, and she also learns that Dying might just be the key to unleashing some terrifying magic that could save her community. Wow. Yeah. It's totally atmospheric. It's immersive. You're just going to want to gobble it up all at once. I have never, I was never really into, that was beautiful, by the Thank way, you. that description. <laughs> I never was really into the high fantasy until I started reading the Sarah J. Moss mm -hmm. novels. And I mean, if you, you know, out there, a lot of people read them. So I am now much more open to it. And I can't wait to jump into this. Okay. <laughs> They're vicious games. Yes. Yeah, so so this one, um, also beautiful cover on this. I just have to point out this iridescent perfume bottle yeah, here. Um, you may want to take a look at that. Yes. So Their Vicious oh, Games by Joa Wellington is a young adult thriller, um, but absolutely will appeal to an adult audience as well. Think of it as the Squid Games meets uh, 
the Ready or Not movie. Ooh. So you're gonna have the power dynamics. You're going to have a ton of violence, um, lots of blood, and just ladies behaving badly. <laughs> yeah, so I love it. Adina is a student at an elite private college. She's one of just a few black students at this, excuse me, um, high school. And she unfortunately gets into an altercation with a really jealous white student in her mm, senior year. No. And all of her college acceptances are rescinded. <gasps> so she is desperate to get back into the college game. And she figures the only way to do that is by attending this very secret competition called The Finish. And she gets an invitation, she goes, she's ready to compete, and discovers that it is absolutely nothing like what she prepared herself for, and she's terrified that she's not gonna make it out alive. Wow! Yeah. So if you're a final girl type fan, yeah. or if you like that Hunger Games type competition vibe, this, this is the is book for you. This is very unique. I, it okay. is. And your last book. Yes, my last book, um, Switching Vibes Completely. Okay. <laughs> this is a stunning personal memoir. Um, it's So it's Hijab Butch Blues by Lamia H. Mm. And it's just a beautiful read. So the author throughout the story is um, it told through personal essays mm -hmm. as well as stories from the Quran. Mm. And she's asking herself, um, what does it mean to be gender nonconforming and queer yeah. and an immigrant? and Muslim and South Asian. What does it mean to hold all of these identities at the wow. same time? A lot of intersectionality. Very, yes, yeah. quite a bit, <laughs> quite a bit. And so as they're exploring these, they're flashing back throughout their lifetime. So it's not told completely chronologically, but it just flows so smoothly. Wow. And the writing, it's incredibly vulnerable and the tone is so thoughtful. If you're an introspective reader that you just like to sit with the prose and contemplate yeah. life, this is a memoir for you. Man, I wish you all could come every <laughs> week, although I would do nothing but read if that were the case. Yeah. Thank you so much, Genesee, for these yes. wonderful books. Such different varieties, something for you out there for sure. Always, it is a pleasure. Thank you oh, thank for inspiring you. our love of reading. <laughs> Make sure you get your library card, by the way. I recently realized I had to get a new one, so go get it done. <laughs>